<clears throat> hey guys, I'm back this week. Last week we had a family emergency. My brother's appendix ruptured and that was quite scary. So, um, so I wasn't here last week. Hell, I was here, but I just wasn't on YouTube last week. Anyway, I hope you'll forgive me. I'm back this week. And the topic today is dealing with other people's judgments. This is an, a big issue especially with eating disorders because when you have tend to have when you have an eating disorder you tend to care a lot about what other people think especially um, near the beginning of recovery you tend to be really susceptible to people's comments judgments and it can be around a lot of different things it can be people's views on eating disorders some people have negative views and incorrect perceptions on people with eating disorders. It could be people's judgments of your body. And it could be just people's judgments of your actions, the need for approval. And uh, this, <clears throat> really, I think the best way to deal with this is that you have to start finding your own inner sense of identity because part of the reason why we, I think that we care so much about others and how they judge us is that we and don't recognize our own internal sense of identity. And once you have that internal sense, then other people's judgments don't affect you as much. It doesn't mean to say that they'll never affect you, but you're able to look at yourself more objectively instead of like through this little filter and <clears throat> you will be, um, when you're objective, then you can hear what people say, and if it's true, you can look at it and say, how can I change this? And if it's not true, or if they are being judgmental and unfairly and acting ignorantly, you can also see that. And so how do you do this? Well, first of all, uh, identify yourself as a person can be scary because... Uh, a lot of us identify ourselves with our eating disorders, and when you give up that eating disorder, then you have to find your new sense of who you thought you were, even though really who you were, you are, and your identity is there the whole time, you just may not recognize it. So one thing that you can do, start off by identifying traits that you like in your closest friends, okay? Just write them down and then realize that the reason why you like those traits is likely because you value those same traits, which means you have them to some extent in yourself. And those are positive for them. Usually those are positive. And so start right there. And when you're able to identify that and start to rescript your internal <clears throat> messages you send to yourself in a more positive way, other people's judgments upon yourself don't have as much effect and weight because you can hear it without flipping out and automatically um, assuming the worst of everything or assuming that everything somebody says is, must be true. So that's that's the first of all. Um, second of all, when you are able to do that, you will actually start to accept yourself regardless of what you look like and your looks while they may be sensitive for a long time they will become less important and so other people's judgments of your body start to become less and less triggering I mean in the beginning you may people may say you're thin and you react to that people may say you're fat and you react to that but the longer you go on in recovery then the less those comments have on you so what I would recommend is a book called The Four Agreements, and it's a great book. I'd recommend you go read it, and that's a great place to start with start, starting to set boundaries. And boundaries are really important when you have personal boundaries. And good personal boundaries, then you other people's judgments also don't affect you as much because you are clear with where you stand, with who you are, with what you'll let people do, with what you'll do for people, and you know your limits. So that's the book I'd recommend, The Four Agreements, and I hope that helps you this week. This is kind of a short video. I'm still kind of in 
tired recovery mode right now from a bunch of chaos going on in the last few days. So I'll talk to you later.